dash cam video from the 408 Taroko train sheds new light on the final moments of last Friday's crash. Footage released on Tuesday shows that the train driver had reacted four seconds after spotting the crane trucks on the tracks. Investigators say that even if the driver has slammed the brakes the moment he saw the truck, it would have been too late to avert disaster. Exiting the tunnel, the train emerges into daylight, barreling along the curve toward the truck on the tracks. Within four seconds, the Taroko Express crashes into it and slams into the left side of the tunnel wall. This is footage from the train's dash cam. We have images at the 45, 46 and 47 second mark and then it stops. But over here on the ATP system, it shows the brake was engaged. That's to say, they used the manual brake to stop the Taroko Express from moving forward. On Friday morning, the train exited the Runho Tunnel at the 9 hour, 28 minute, 38.5 second mark. Less than five seconds later, the automatic train protection system registered an emergency brake engagement. One second after the brakes were activated, the train collided with the truck and later slammed against the side of the Qingshui Tunnel. The last record on the system log shows the train was moving at 121 kilometers per hour. The front of the construction vehicle, the engine and the crane were broken apart. Everything but the chassis was pulled inside the tunnel in front of car 8 of the train. Officials also spoke on how the construction vehicle ended up on the tracks. The Transportation Safety Board has roughly mapped out the path of the truck, which was owned by Yixiang Industry. The vehicle slid down a sloping path at the construction site, making a hairpin turn around an excavator. It continued sliding downward before eventually falling off the path into the vegetation below and landing on the train tracks. A little more than a minute later, the Taroko Express crashed into it. The truck kind of rolled down the hill, but as we mentioned just now, if you look at the scene, there were other construction vehicles there. There wasn't just one vehicle in operation. That is to say, there wasn't just one vehicle at the site. From the images, you can see that construction had not been halted at the site. The 350-ton train collided against the 7.5-ton truck before crashing at high speed into the Qingshui Tunnel resulting in the tremendous loss of life. The investigation continues into why the truck was able to roll down the slope.